Hello everyone and welcome to a new topic in Microsoft Excel 2013. Do you know what we have to cover for today? We will cover lab number four. So you need two files to complete this lab. You need the, yes you are right, Excel lab four instructions and Excel lab four starting file. I will go ahead and open both files side by side and then I will go over the items that will be covered in this lab. We will uh, uh, format the workbook tabs and then we will insert column chart. Also we will take a look at pie chart. We will move a chart to a new spreadsheet. Also we will apply conditional uh, format. Are we ready to get started with the instructions? Yes, we are ready. So let's go ahead and have both files open as I have them now. And then in here it says open Excel lab for starting file. I already have it open and then save it as Excel lab for. So I will go ahead and click on file and then uh, save as. And then I will save it under Microsoft Excel labs as we usually do and then I will go ahead and uh, give it the right name which is as you see it here Excel lab 4 and then click on save perfect so it says here rename sheet 1 to sales details so I will go to sheet 1 and then right click on it and then choose rename I will call it what sales details sales space the details as you see now and then I'll, I'll press enter it says uh, uh, next insert a 3d column clustered column a chart based on the range a3 all the way to f8 where is a3 this is a column a this is row 3 so starting from here all the way until f Eight. That's exactly what I have. And then I will go to where, yes you're right, insert, tab, and then I will go to column chart, I choose 3D clustered column as you see here. Perfect. And then I'm done with number four. Number five, it says move the chart to a new page entitled by the name column a chart. So I will click under the design. Look, once you have a chart, you have the contextual menu that appears only when the chart is selected, design, and format. In the design tab, you click on move chart, and then you choose new sheet, and then what is the sheet name? Column, column not a chart. Perfect. And then press on OK, or click on OK. Now it will open this chart in a new sheet as you see it. Uh, it says here position the column chart tab at the end of the workbook sheets and it change its tab color to green. So I will go ahead and start working on this part here. Look at column chart. It is located at the beginning. So I need to drag it, click on it and drag, do you see the, the small black arrow? Once you see it at the end, it means that the, pos the new position will be at the end of the uh, workbook uh, tabs as you see it uh, right now. It says here it changed the chart title to, so I will go to the chart title click on it and then I will start typing as it is selected you can start typing so I will go ahead and start typing perfect it appears in the formula bar but it doesn't show yet in the chart title until you press enter so phones sales during uh, five, five what? Five years. Yes, you are right. Perfect. And then look, one, once I press enter, now the title reflects the text I just entered 
uh, in the title. Make sure the title is selected. How do you know is it, it is selected? You will see, do you see these small, small knobs here, small circles on the corners, on each corner of the title? Once you see it, it means that the title is selected. It says here center the title, so you just look at it here and then make sure it, it is centered. You can also go to home, it is already centered. And then I will go back to the design uh, tab. At the top of the uh, section of the chart, all right, make the title bold and 16 point. So you go to the home tab, you make it bold, but make sure it is selected and change the size to 16 points. Perfect. So point is the measurement that you uh, uh, need to use for changing the size. Uh, it says here number nine, add a primary vertical axis titled or a primary vertical axis title entitled which is by the name sales in dollars. So now how do you add the primary vertical axis? Basically this axis will go in the left side of your chart here is what you can do you can click on the plus sign chart elements and then once you click on it you will see access titles you click on the arrow and then what kind of chart do you need or what kind of title do you need do you need the primary vertical axis look one once I click on it I get it it's that symbol that's a new feature in Excel 2013. It gives you easy access to commands that you had to find your way through it in the previous uh, Excel versions. So if I go to Format tab, this is the format. You please go ahead and look at the commands available in this tab. And then if you go to the Design tab, Make sure that your chart is selected, all right? And then you keep looking at the items that are in here. So I need someone to tell me where is the chart element I just added. Yes, you're right. In the previous version, most of these elements were visible, but now Microsoft decided to group them together. So you need to go to access titles and then as you see here primary vertical is selected. Now let's go back and position this to the left side and continue with our lab. It says here use the format painter to copy the font format from the title to the access title. So you click on the title go to the home tab and then click on the format painter and then you click on top of the access title it's that simple all right use already finished that uh, apply the style 3 to the chart all right now uh, which part of the chart is selected at this point yes you are right the access title what if I need you to select the entire chart you click any empty space until you see this boxes around the chart and now you go to the design tab and then style 3 is under the chart styles you click on it look what happened to the access title it went back to the old format so you need to fix that you go to the home tab format printer and then click on top of it again and that will fix so it is more visible now let's go ahead and read it changed the T-Mobile columns color to light green. Where is T-Mobile? If you look at the legend at the bottom here, it says T-Mobile here. It looks in dark blue. So I will click on this part. All of the T-Mobile in each category are selected. So I will go to where? You go to the home tab. Do you see this bucket here? You click on the down arrow beside it and then you choose green. No, it says light green. So you need to make sure that you follow the instructions as you see it. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now go back to the sales details sheet. Okay, there are two sheets here. Sales details. 
and then select the non-adjacent ranges A4 all the way until A8 and G4 all the way until G8 so you click at the first cell which is A4 you know how to select now you click all the way down now I need to select this range as well which is G4 all the way until G8 how do I select non adjacent ranges like what you see in here make sure that your first range is selected then press and hold control key and then you select the second one now make sure when you look at the chart or the selection that both of them are in dark color as you see here now let's follow the instructions it says insert a style 3 3d pie chart based on your selection in number 13 so I will go to insert and then I need pie chart and I will choose 3d pie and then I will choose style 3 perfect it's working great move the pie chart to a new a new sheet entitled pie chart so I'll click on move chart new sheet and I will call it pie a chart and then click on ok it says next position the pie chart tab at the end of the worksheet so now pie chart at the beginning of the workbook I need it to be at the end of the workbook like this one here do you see how I do it now it is at the end of the workbook sheets it changes the tab color to red you know how to change the tab color you right click on the tab and then it choose tab color and then it choose what red did I change column charts to green no I didn't so I'm glad I am catching this as we uh, progress I will go ahead and select green so this is red and this is uh, green what do we have next it says drag the percent label of each slide outside of the pie chart do you see this percent label here drag it outside of each slice and look if you drag it outside of each slice you will see a trailing lead that shows you the connection between the slice and the percentage explode the pie chart by 20% so how do you explode the pie chart make sure here which item of this pie chart is selected right now can anyone tell me yes you're right this 13% here now look when I click inside once all of the size slices now are selected if I click one again on one slice by itself only one slice will be selected now how I select all of them you click outside once and then you click inside one more time make sure that you have these circles around all of the slices and then right click anywhere inside the pie chart and then it choose format uh, data labels and then you get different tab like that one do I see anything that has to do with excluding the pie chart no I don't so that means that I need to click again inside the pie chart and the right click and then choose for my data series now do I see anything that has to do with pie explosion okay now I'm so glad you are, you are looking at this uh, new task uh, panel that Microsoft is making available to you so you don't have to go back and forth between the pie chart and the option that you are trying to select now tell me the percent 20 percent and then press enter and look at the slices uh, in the pie chart itself once you are done you close this panel and that gives you back your uh, pie chart it change the pie chart title to overall performance so you click on the title to select it and then type over all performance right and then press enter 
are we good on this one yes save and upload the uh, uh, excel lab 4 file via blackboard you click on save and then uh, upload uh, this but before you upload again if you scroll down in the instructions file you will see a sample solution for the pie chart and the tabs in colors you will see also a sample solution for the column chart i hope you did learn something new today and i will see you in future labs thank you everyone